Welcome back to Dark Souls 3, all bows and crossbows run. This is one of the optional bosses, Osiris, the Consumed King. I've decided that for my optional boss fights, uh, I'm going to be, obviously I have to reuse some bows and crossbows, so I'm going to use one bow and one crossbow for every optional boss fight. Uh, so for this one I decided to use the uh, Oni Slayer Great Bow, which I wouldn't really recommend to be honest. Um, but for the first phase of the fight, it's fine. Second phase of the fight, oh my god, it'd be a nightmare. Wouldn't fancy that at all. I'm sure someone's done it, um, but it's only plus three at the moment as well. Also, these lightning arrows. What's the point? They do less damage than the normal arrows. <laughs> they only do about 200 damage as well. And Osiris has quite a lot of health. Uh, yes, yes, your dear little Ocelot. We know, we know. Uh, anyway, um, second phase I'm going to change to so a Knight's Crossbow. I did try this fight a couple of times with the Sniper Crossbow. Um, but that's just too damn slow. And uh, I was having problems with that. And uh, he killed me. I think I could probably do it. I just I decided to take the path of least resistance. Also, I'm not too worried about the uh, optional bosses in this place so much. They're mostly just to mess around and have a bit of fun. Now, um, obviously, uh, in the first phase, he's not that dangerous. Although, you don't want him to get too close to you, he will swing his tail, swing his, swing his club. Um, he also does Pestle and Mercury here. Uh, his version is hits much harder than your version. Okay, we're going to Ember up now because, like, opportunities are limited later on in the fight. I have a 100% uh, block shield, it's one of the... One of the crest shields, I don't remember, it's probably the uh, dragon crest, because that's the only one I've actually upgraded at all, and it's only level plus one. The knight's crossbow is plus seven. I, uh, again, I'm using a bunch of different bows and crossbows, so I don't have enough materials to upgrade everything. I did upgrade the sniper crossbow to plus nine. I probably should have waited on to be honest, because I'm not going to use that until maybe the Nameless King, although I suppose I could use two bows on him. I think I'll probably do it on Soul of Cinder actually. I got three bows left anyway, um, and three main bosses left, which is Dragon Slayer Armor, which we're going to use uh, the Gwendolyn bow for. And I'm going to need to respec for that as well. Because it's a magic bow. Uh, we have the sniper crossbow, which we're going to use for Soul of Cinder. I'm going to have to do, I'm going to do Evelyn, Avalyn for a time. Evelyn's in Bloodborne. I'm going to do Avalyn for uh, Princes. And I'm feeling pretty good about the Princes. Uh, I think that they are very difficult boss but I've done them I've fought them a lot now I'm confident I'm going to get them regardless of how low the damage is now you do want to keep uh, Osiris locked on there uh, it's always a bit of a problem if you uh, lose the lock on because he starts whizzing around the arena and hitting you from strange angles there's a a little like symbol on the crossbow which tells you whether you've got an arrow notched or not. But um, I only just noticed that, so uh, notching an arrow on the sniper crossbow takes a while. This one's fairly quick. You actually do more damage if you hit him from the front than from behind. But uh, it's also much more risky trying to hit him from the front than from behind. And kind of difficult because he doesn't stay still for long. 
that would be an opportunity there, for example, but I don't want to let a shot off, have no stamina, and then have him charge at me. And you see, I missed there. Yeah, the night crossbow certainly made it easier. You can block, obviously, that attack, but uh, it takes all of your stamina. I have 12... no, no, not 12, I have 20 points of uh, stamina stat, whatever it is, uh, vitality. And uh, you probably do need a bit more, to be honest, for a character. Um, but, like I say, I'm not not anywhere near finishing this character yet. Eventually, he's got to be at like 40 40 quality build. That's the logical way to go with an archer. I mean, an all bow archer, because you know, some of the bows are straight scaling, some of the bows are dicks scaling. Uh, crossbows are not scaling at all. I don't scale with anything. Was a bit, uh, I suppose it's believable. Uh, yep, yeah, stay underneath his tail, shoot in the ass. Right now, I missed there. Well, as you can see, although it takes quite a long time, the ability to shoot faster reload faster and keep my shield up more did make it quite a lot easier uh, although I still didn't do particularly great uh, that was a good opportunity to go in front I guess I was out of stamina I just got to the wall. You could probably time those, uh, but slightly risky. And as you can see, it's his tail is. Somebody rated my message, so I didn't have to heal. <laughs> Do you know how many messages I've got on this character? Two, and only one of them is actually any good is a kind of a joke message outside the Pontiff boss room. So whoever did that, thank you very much. You saved me an Estus class. But, uh, would have been nicer in the previous fight when I was using the Knights, the um, Sniper Crossbow. Oh yeah, I finished it off with an Oni Slayer. Just because, just because you can. Anyway, yay, yay, yay. Champion Gundir coming soon.